today we are so excited because Paige and I had a little fun yes. with our nails over the weekend and we decided to try something out called a tonal manicure. I'm obsessed with it. I am too. By the way, I have gotten so many compliments on it, this. Yes, it's kind of like an ombre trend, but instead of the color gradient being on each individual mm -hmm. nail, you kind of do it all over your entire hand, kind yeah. of like how we did. Yeah, and I think it's really cool because you don't have to stick to one particular set of colors. No. Honestly, any color palette works. So, like, pages are a little bit brighter. So yeah, you I'm kind very of, into purples lately. I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell that you're very into purple. And then I decided to do something a little bit more neutral. I live for a good nude nail. Um, they're called mannequin nails is kind of the name of it, where it looks Ooh. like you just have, like, mannequin hands. <laughs> um, so I decided to just go. So chic. It is so chic, isn't it? So I decided to stick in nude, which is kind of my favorite color tone. But you really could do this in whatever color you want. Um, yeah. I know for me, I always walk into the nail salon and there's an entire wall of polish and I can never yep. pick just right. one. So this is a great way to allow you to play this with a couple of different that colors. Problem. It does. Yes. And I hate narrowing it down to one color. So we have a couple of different color combinations yes. on the table, right? I will say this though, the one downside of this manicure style mm -hmm. is you have to have basically the same tone in yes. five different colors or and even but sometimes you can do three right so we discovered a yes. new way to do this right so Paige shows five colors yes I actually only did three colors so on my nails I did the darkest nail in the center I'm in not, a very clever way a very clever way and yes. then I kind of took the ombre out from the center so darkest mm -hmm. in the middle and then lightest out so even if you only have three colors you can still create kind of yeah. like a gradation of deep to dark or light to dark and nail polish is expensive it's very like you expensive. can get one bottle and sometimes it's like ten dollars, so I feel like sets are the best mm -hmm. way to do this trend and to save money. Absolutely, there's so much value in a set, and it also yes. means you don't have to decide on just one color. So we have a couple of different ones here. Mm -hmm. We have a really cute one from Nicole Miller. These which are ones, the minis. Yeah. These are adorable. They come with eighteen different colors. I love that. Yeah. Then we have OPI, which. This is very on trend for you because it's only three colors and then they mm. give you a base and a top coat. Oh, so I love that set. The, and by the yeah. way, this is actually kind of in that same color family. Right. So you could actually do that and then you just add your base coat and your top coat, which I cute. love that they included a base coat and a top coat. I know that's something that I never buy for myself. And that's one of the reasons I I'm not never good buy a base coat. at manicuring at home is because right. I don't own a base coat and a top coat. So this is really nice that they included that with three additional colors. But yeah. I think the most fun part of painting your nails is, is the actual painting. Trying it out. So should we do this? Yes. I'm going to do this like blue turquoise only because okay. I never really do this color. Yeah. So I just want to see what Are it you going to do like. a five color ombre or a three color ombre? I'm going to do, I'll do five. Okay. So I'm going to do a three color okay. ombre so you guys can see it. I'm going to do three different varieties of it. So I'm going to do like a super bright and then I'm going to do and you're like using a more subtle. Um, this is set. the shanty set, you guys. What I love about this shanty set is that you are getting full size polish in this set. Yeah. So what all the other sets that we have here from Nicole and Miller and OPI, colors. you're getting mini bottles. So just for comparison purposes, this is the size difference. And this shanty set is amazing because you are actually getting the full size polish. Mm -hmm. That is a lot of nail polish. It will take you a lifetime <laughs> to, <laughs> to actually get rid of all to that. actually go and through that. The best thing about sets too is yes, you can do this trend, but also you can just do an old-fashioned manicure and do one color. Totally. You know? And I always think, for me, um, I'm pretty conservative when it comes to makeup. I mean, I like to have a little bit of fun, but I'm not going all the way out there. Mm -hmm. And nails are just an extension of that expression. Yeah. So maybe you're not willing to try all this color in an eyeshadow or in a really bold lipstick, but you might be willing to try something really bright and fun on your nails. And especially for the fall, like, it's fun. I feel yeah. like we're always in, like, black and dark colors. Totally. And, like, it's fun to have, like, some crazy nails once in a while. I agree. Okay. So I want to show you guys what I did with the triple ombre, which That's is just very using neon. three. It's very neon. And again, this is probably not colors that I would incorporate into my wardrobe, but it's definitely something that I would incorporate into my nails. So those are the colors. So you've got your three colors, and these are the three pinks, which, by the way, I think looks very cute. so cute. And I did the five. You did the five. So how did that turn out? Well... I don't know if I would use turquoise, but I really loved the silvers. Ooh. And like, I've been really into one sparkle nail. Oh, so I like, love that as a little accent. Yeah, like the ends are sparkle. So you could do like how you did it in the middle where it was like mm -hmm. the darker color, you could do that finger 
a sparkle and then do the rest of the colors on your other fingers. I love that. And I'm not saying oh, that I want to jump us ahead to like <laughs> February 2020, <laughs> but in case you wanted to maybe theme your nails based on calendar, you guys, how cute would this be? I'm going to show you these colors. Cute. If you did this for like a fun Valentine's Day inspired palette. So I did that. It's kind great of, for holiday. It's great for holiday. How fun and is that? And I actually, you were talking about like the big size nail polish. Mm -hmm. I actually like the mini ones oh. because I will touch up my nails anywhere I am. <laughs> and I love doing my own nails at home. So I throw these in my bag sometimes. Yeah. And like if I'm going on vacation. I was gonna say, so that's one of the times I always do nude nails because mm -hmm. I don't like maintenance. And when I'm doing a brighter color, like let's just say I was doing a color like this on your nails, you're gonna see it chip immediately. Right. And when you do nude nails, you kind of see that wear and tear less, especially if you're like washing dishes or doing laundry. Mm -hmm. I feel like I always chip my nails, especially because mine are real nails. And I think that's yes. one thing. If you have acrylics, it's awesome because the nail polish lasts you and don't lasts have to worry and lasts. About it. But if you have your nails, Natural nail, your natural nail produces oil by itself, and that's mm -hmm. what starts to break down the polish. So when you travel, it's nice to be able to take a tiny one like this, throw it in your makeup bag, and touch right. up the entire vacation. I, love I that. think they are very cute. I agree. I want to try this OPI set just because I I like these colors. And then I will say that my manicurist, when I had my nails done um, for a red carpet, told me that mm -hmm. if you want to be lazy about your manicure, but you really want to extend the life for it. So I, this OPI set does have a top coat. She says that she top coats every other day. So wow. let's just say you get a great manicure. It's fresh on a Friday and you want to keep that. You should be top coating again on a Sunday and then you should do it again on Wednesday and then again the following Friday unless you're getting weekly manicures. Oh my, I would have thought it would have been the opposite that no. the nail polish would get too thick and then it would chip no, off. No, not at all. Isn't that so wow, cool? I was so like, yeah, so just totally grab wrong. your top coat and put that on every other day to maintain the life of your manicure. But here's the thing, if you're buying any of these sets, you're gonna wanna change your nails up every week because you're gonna have so many different colors. So let's just recap kind of what we have yes. available. So this is the Shani palette. It has a huge variety of shades. We've got everything from like really fun brights, like mm -hmm. look at these greens and yellows here in the front. There's like 24 I mean, I think there's 24 shades yeah. in here, but I love the fact that you get every fun color. You get your blues, you get your sparkles that Paige really likes, yeah. and you also get like a classic red in this set. So that's all from Shani, great, incredible, value because it is full size nail mm -hmm. polish and I have to say this one wears really really nicely and then you have your amazing Nicole Miller polish which, which I right really been, really love I just think the bottles are cute they're cute and this is <laughs> a huge set as well this is the Nicole Miller nailed it nail polish set also many sizes but tons of variety when it comes to the colors great gift ideas you guys as we're approaching the holidays yeah I always love a good beauty gift set and this is a great way and to I, give there's someone 18 in there yeah so you could even break that up right yeah. you could even do like a little gift set for people and do maybe like a little nail file and the name is cute nailed the, it nailed it <laughs> love that and then wait you have the opi set which you yes, love which, which are these five with three colors and then a base coat and a top coat which i'm gonna use that top coat the trick. top coat trick i know yeah. and i do think you're right i think having mini versions i mean at the it's end of the really it, it just works it just works <laughs> and i also think it's great because nail polish does expire so remember that you okay, cannot I, keep nail polish forever. I have a trick for this. Okay. I keep all of my nail polish in my refrigerator, and people think I'm crazy, but one of my teachers in high school told me to do that, and it makes it stay longer, <gasps> and it doesn't get like thick and clumpy. I have like 12 nail polishes in lined up fridge? in my refrigerator. Wait, I love that. I think you could also, <laughs> Amazon has these great organizational boxes, yes, right, that I are perfect for storage. Yeah. You could get one of those, put all your polish in, and just know that that lives in the fridge because then you're extending yeah. the value and life of your purchase for so much longer. I had no idea. Whenever anyone comes over, they're highly confused at what's happening in the refrigerator because <laughs> it's nail polish and then like olives. By the way, and that's it. <laughs> there's also these little mini fridges on Amazon. They're called beauty fridges and yeah. they're meant for skincare. You're supposed to put like your eye cream and your serums in there, but I think you could also you could put, put your, your nail polish yeah, in there because people absolutely. are putting these mini fridges in their bathroom now. Because wow. you're investing so much in great skincare. Yeah. Why not put it in there? I love that. I, right? What a good idea. Isn't such a good okay, idea. Okay, and what is this last one? These ones are just different. Oh. You loved this orange oh, yeah. one, but so, these are just a different way to show how you can do like I the think tonal. That's so cool! Like I love these front ones, and that's you can do again the three. The how you did it with like the dark in the middle, and then the two light on the side. So you don't have to get five different nail colors. You can mix it up the way you wanna 
you know, do well, it. Well, I think that's the best part about nail polish is that it's such a personal decision. It's right. just like your hair and your makeup. Think of it as an extension of your personal beauty expression. You yes. can do a single polish, you can do five polishes, you can mix it up. And there's really no rules now. There was this huge explosion when it came to nail art a couple right. years ago. And I think people now are so much more comfortable uh, by having fun with nail polish and trying different things. Are you a nail art person? Like, do you ever do designs on your I'm nails? I'm not a huge nail art person. Mm -hmm. Like, this is the funkiest <laughs> I'll get. This is the funkiest page <laughs> like, gets, y'all. I is usually it. do, you know, I would do these colors, like yeah. a more nude color. But having this on, I actually really like it. And, like, for the fall, I will always do a dark, darker color. Mm -hmm. So to be able to, like, do a whole palette of it. I really like that. Well, if you love to do nail art at home, one of the things that you know about nail art is you kind of have to use out of the box colors to really make yeah. it pop. So let's just say you're a nude nail person like Paige. You could be a nude nail person like Paige and then just add a little pop of neon with just like a little like dot. Like a polka dot. A little polka dot or like a little line. So sometimes buying these sets, you're thinking, well, I'm not going to have a use for that color. Right. If you want to do some really cool nail art to really spice up your nude mani, this is the way to do it. And I follow a lot of nail... Um, Me too. Accounts on Instagram and to see like how they switch yeah. it up like, with doing like, like combining like, like a nude and yeah. a neon, or if you just wanted to do nude with like a little coat of sparkle. That's why these I sets are so good. I love that. This, I want to do that. Okay, this is what we're going to do during the commercial <laughs> okay. break. And don't forget, not only are these great for you, but these kinds of sets just really do make such a great holiday gift. Mm -hmm. And we all know that this is holiday party season, and an easy way to change up your look is just to do it. On your nails right right like keep your beauty keep your like lip classic and then have a sparkle nail situation I, love a sparkle nail. I do love that yeah i'm actually gonna try my neon nail art right now <laughs> on this paper but i think you guys get that this is a great way right to really have fun and change up your entire look with just little fun sets i think that looks really good i agree i'm sold so we have a lot more beauty trends coming up so stay with us We here at Amazon decided to share our top secrets on the favorite lipsticks that we love and how we put our lipsticks on. Now I know that there's this whole no makeup, makeup face thing going on, which is totally fine, but if you can just give me a little lip, a little something every day just to kind of like tie that whole look together, that would be great. So I love a nude liner. Mm, see how that just kind of like completes the face already. I would sometimes just run out with this to maybe go to the supermarket or you can go a little deeper and give me That's like full nude lip. I'm ready, but not ready, but ready. You get what I'm saying? And you can you put that in just a little bit more Mmm 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 and I find that when you line the lips with the liner, that it's gonna last a lot longer than just putting on a lipstick. And then you can finish off with, I like to do the same kind of color cause I wanna go for kind of a nude look that's gonna go with multiple outfits. You look done, but not too done. But who doesn't wanna look done? So let's just be done. And then, if you want to get a little fancy, you can even throw a little like gloss on top of that, if you want. And I'm gonna keep that in that um, kind of nude, brownish um, look just to complete it. I am really loving holiday hair that's full of glitter. Aren't you into it? Like, isn't I'm it great? I'm so obsessed with this. <laughs> Good, yeah, this is because so fun. I'm gonna try so much sparkling glitter gel that sticks right onto your hair. And I'm gonna use this for that, and this is the All That Glitters for hair and body. So you can basically put it all over your hair. And my or body. all over your body. <laughs> I'm gonna use a brush, though, and I know I already put some on you, but I'm just gonna embellish it a little bit by adding a little bit more. So, so how gonna, would you describe this look? Like, what is I this? I call it a ponytail burst. Okay. So, and it comes in this little pouch too, so okay. it's really easy and it has the gel inside. Mm -hmm. You don't have to use anything else. You can actually just use it, 
pour it onto your hand or any other palette, and then put it right on with a brush. So that's easy. It kind of sticks right on. Right by on. Itself. You don't have to do much. I'm going to use a brush, and I'm just going to embellish this a little bit. Mm -hmm. And this ponytail burst, as we had called it, it's actually a really cool holiday look, yes. especially for Christmas or New Year or a, a girl's night out, whatever you want. Oh, my God. You want to just put it with the brush, like l strokes. Mm -hmm. And why All is it over. fun to kind of do, you know, this if you're going to show your holiday spirit? Why glitter in the hair? Why is because that a good Because it's option? sparkly. What's holiday about? Holiday is about being festive and being shiny and sparkly and all of the above, right? Absolutely. But if you want, look at that. It's so cool, guys. And this has different shapes. It has the stars, um, diamonds. It has moons. And it comes in a bunch of different colors. But I'm using a nice metallic silver just so it could give it a nice pop. Mm -hmm. And Lou, tell me, do you know how easy this is to wash out? It's so easy. Just It's going to come out? Yes. I mean, okay. if you don't want to wash your hair full out, just take some soap and water and just comb it out. You could okay. use any type of comb if you want. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, but you know what? Don't you think that this needs a little bit more drama? A little oomph. A little, a little more yes. drama. So we're all here for more drama. <laughs> so we're gonna do. I'm gonna do that for you. I'm gonna give her more drama. Okay, because this wasn't enough. It's nothing's <laughs> ever it's enough. Never enough. <laughs> so this is this hairspray. Not really hairspray, but it is a spray, and it has a, a bunch of little gold sparkles okay, in it. Okay, so we got more glitter. So we have this ponytail burst going on, guys. Mm -hmm. And now I'm gonna use this little spray right here, and this is the Joico Gold Dust in Shimmer spray. Okay. I'm going to create a nice little crown for you because you're like a queen. A princess. You're going to be a princess. Well, I'm making you a queen. Why are you saying okay. princess? <laughs> Don't sell myself short. <laughs> I'm just going to spray a little bit on the crown of your hair. Okay. And how do you feel about mixing gold and silver here for this look? Why not? Didn't I say we're going all out? Yeah, we're going, we're all, going out. all out, girl. We're doing it. So right here, we're going to sparkle, shine a little bit Ooh. on the crown. See, I'm creating a little bit of a That's little bit of awesome. glitter oh on your hair, just with this spray. So, so easy, guys. Mm -hmm. Just spray a little bit right on the front, because we already have a lot of things going on in the back. Yes. Leave it on. It's fine. If you want to add a little bit of more glitter to you, you more can glitter. totally do that. Yeah, you and this is already sticky. You get <laughs> Everybody gets glitter. <laughs> and we've talked, Lou, about, you know, glitter being so on trend lately. So even outside of the holidays, this is a look that kind of works for a lot of things, right? Every day. I mean, every if you want to wear glitter work. every day to work, be my guest. <laughs> If you want to walk around with first. glitter on the street, be my guest. Okay. This is all you need. But this is good for a night out. This is good if you're going to a concert. You this could, is good for so many different things. You could do it for brunch. For like brunch. a really nice, okay. sparkly brunch. She's taking it to the next <laughs> level. But, but no, I love it. it. Don't really you love cute. it too? And New Year's, this really does last. New Year's, for a birthday lot of parties. If it's your birthday and you want to just look different and you want your birthday you know, your like own me. little look and your own look, your own little shine, this is you. You're going to be a star with this. That's awesome. I absolutely <laughs> love it. I have other looks. You so do have other looks. I have to show that on somebody else because I can't obviously do that on you. You can't keep So me I'm going to bring my girl, Julia. Julia. Come on down. Hello. You are the next. Oh, I'm hey. ready. How's Look it going? Look at that. You're all halfway done already. I so am. on Julia, I did this really, really cute braid on her. And we're going to do something called glitter roots for the wow. hair. So I already put on one side right here, a ton of glitter, and I used this Who's That Girl glitter gel. It already has the gel in it. it. You don't have to use any type of hair gel, any type of base for it. I actually use, it does come with an applicator, but I did use a brush for it just so I could make the application much more precise and much better. So with this technique, you want to just add it to the root. So I did it on one side, so I'm just going to do it on the other side. I know this is a different color than the other side, but I'll show you why in a little bit. And if you have like a dramatic, a really dramatic thin part in your hair, whether it's side or center, this would look really cool. But in this instance, we're doing it with a braid, so just a double-sided glitter. And you want to just put it right all over on the left side. You're kind of painting, so it's, it's in small strokes. And you don't want to, you, you want to spread it out so it, it can't look too clumpy or clustery. What I did at the bottom of her hair is I braided it all the way down. And I added little bubbles and little rubber bands so it, it creates little bubbles on her braid. And I put 
a ton of glitter to cover those rubber bands, you know, just a little trick. But you just want to put it all over. So it's so sticky, you don't have to do much. Now, you'll see other colors on this side, which is, it has a lot of like purple and lilac colors. So I actually use the iColory six color glitter set. And that's what I'm gonna do now. So with a brush, I'm just gonna apply it all over. So I don't need any other gel to put this on since I use the Who's That Girl glitter gel. And all I have to do is pack it on. You could do it with any color. I mean, the iColory glitter set comes in red, green. It also comes in different shades. Stars, moons, diamonds, powder. It comes in a whole lot of stuff. But there you go, guys. This is the glitter roots. For the, what do you think, Julia? Do you love it? I think it's so cool. Isn't it it's cool? It's perfect for the holidays coming up, right? Holidays, yeah. and like what we were saying, for any other special occasion, this is your go-to exactly. hair cell. We could even sprinkle a little bit Go more. for it. Go all in. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Thank you so much. You look amazing. Thank you. I'm going to show you guys another holiday trick. And this is my really, really easy hair barrette. And what I do is if you don't have any looks and you want to just kind of really last minute, pin a little bit of this right here. And that's it. You don't have to do much. Just add a little sparkle with a little barrette, no glitter, just this. I have other colors too. This comes in a cream. It comes in a rose gold. It comes in a silver. And you could just even put it on the other side. And there you go. So these holiday looks are really easy, guys. All you have to do is choose one, make it your favorite, and own it. Stay tuned. We have more, more, more Beauty Trends Live coming up. That was so cute. I loved all of that. Hey, guys. Yes, me too. Yay. Hey. Now, if you are a fan of exfoliation, mm. here's a technique that's going to take your exfoliation up a whole lot of levels. It's called dry brushing, and it's basically just as it sounds, right? It, it is pretty self-explanatory. Have you have you tried this before? I have. It's really it. cool, yeah. It's interesting, you guys. It definitely takes, I think, a little getting used to. There's a learning to. curve? Yes, there's a learning curve. There's a few things you want to consider, but it is pretty straightforward. It is not like a heavy-duty cosmetic procedure. Yeah. A few minutes a day, exactly. a couple times a week, done. Exactly. So yeah. let's talk about dry brushing. What is it, Mako? Let's get into it. It is basically, as it sounds, you take a natural bristle brush, mm -hmm. kind of like this one. Now, we have a few options here. Yeah. So it kind of depends. We have them in the carousel, whether you want to have a long handle brush. Think, woo, 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 woo. Oh, so you can get right yeah, in the back. Right you know the, the back. back is often neglected. It is. And it gets super itchy. So the nice thing is you can take that you, part out. <laughs> you were so This part right here, this that. handle, and if you need to scratch, in between, she did yeah, a little scratch. I enjoyed it, but not gonna it lie, comes in she a did nice a little, little box. Yes, it does come in a nice box, very giftable that way. Yeah. something to think about. Um, but basically, so it, it, whether you want to have that palm power, that's mm -hmm. what the is holding there. We have our little one here that you can probably take on the go with you. Oh, that's really yeah. nice if you travel. So this is exactly how you do it, you okay. guys. Let's walk through how you do it. So yeah. essentially, what you do is long strokes towards your heart to really stimulate the lymphatic flow and exfoliate in a big way. What exactly does that mean? What that means is don't brush too hard. Yes. Because it is painful. So it takes time. You have to like sort of get your skin acclimated to this brushing. So these br these uh, bristles, they don't hurt, but be gentle. So brush up just yes. like that. What I would recommend is start mm. with the areas that are honestly exposed a lot. Right. Your feet, mm -hmm. your hands, and then you can use it kind of everywhere. You can use right. it in, in round circular motions on your stomach. They say clockwise, on your even back. your armpits. Your you armpits. Do clockwise because yeah. it is about lymphatic drainage. Mm -hmm. So you have to think about that. That, you want to go towards your heart because yeah. you're stimulating your lymphatic drainage. It's it's said to obviously exfoliate. So you, what do we say? About two to three minutes before you get in the two shower. Two to three minutes before you get in the shower, you don't need to you use anything this. else. Now, the only thing is that you definitely have to have a good grip on it because look right. at that, right? It kind of slips off the hands. Mm -hmm. I imagine if you have soap, if you're using other things, just use it as is and use it two to three minutes a couple times a week before you go in the shower. And you know what, you guys? Tell me if this happens to you. In the yeah. wintertime, my skin gets Yes. So I have a bunch of dead skin. It's like so much buildup. And, and Jackie, does it feel good? Well, How does it, it feel on you? I have to say, it's 
It feels better than I thought. Mm. I do have, especially with the changing of the seasons, yep. my skin actually does get very sensitive. Uh -huh. So there's a few people out there that may want to think about this. Yeah. If you've never done this before, you may want to think of starting with softer bristles and True. then working your way up to more firmer bristles for this. Good point. If you do have sensitive skin, eczema, anybody like that, Definitely it may I not be it. Yeah. for you. Yeah. But what this does, you know, it, you as soon as the first few days, mm -hmm. your skin can start feeling softer and smoother you get in that shower you're getting that softer layer of skin so yes it, I feel like it's pretty low maintenance it's pretty easy to do it your is your skin should be pink when you're done it should right. never be you don't want to make it feel red stinging. and there yeah. is such a thing as over exfoliation right so definitely everything in small moderation let's move on to the next item yes um, I definitely love these as we said you can even use this brush on your stomach mm -hmm. I wouldn't use it in certain areas you know um, definitely use on those external areas now staying yeah. on the same thing of uh, exfoliating yeah. pumice stones are mm -hmm. really great. Yeah, so this is the pumice stone yeah. here. So this is what you may see when you're getting your manicures, your pedicures, the, especially that pedicure, because this is known for giving you that salon quality mm -hmm. relief of the rough skin and your rough uh, uh, on your feet, like underneath your feet. Yeah. You would take this, so I'm going to use my palm here, and this is when you would really exfoliate so the let's bottom see. of those feet. Let's see what right? it looks like. I'm going to okay. use it on my skin. You're not supposed to use it on your skin, but I just want to show you that it does have a little, a little bit of shedding here you see right. that ash that I was trying to get rid of earlier mm -hmm. and look at that no yeah. it looks like I've been playing in chalk but what's <laughs> nice about this is that my feet tend to get callous on them especially if yes. I walk around you don't have to zoom in on my feet I know mm -hmm. Sinead is like no don't no zoom in on feet. her feet but if, if, you, if this happens to you as well where you get callous on your feet you definitely just want to rub on that right. just for a few minutes in the shower mm -hmm. and these are really great for taking care of your skin uh, the skin the rough skin on your feet on your heels mm -hmm. I'll tell you this guys I've cut up a few sheets before oh uh, Oh With my rough feet, it's not the most glamorous thing in the world, but that's why we have tools well, like this. Because then you won't have to look they like look that. Good, but yeah. then what do they do to the underneath? It's not good it's news. It's the flip flops guys. too. It's, not good it's news. the stilettos and the flip flops. Oh yes, yes, yes. So, so if very you're traveling gentle with these, yes. and you're walking, you're a lot on your feet. Mm -hmm. This will definitely, again, I just all don't of like these that it has the, the buildup. Yes, all of these kinds it's of the spa only thing I don't friendly like. things though yeah. are very giftable. We're getting into True. holiday season, so I really like that. This is a simple, like a stocking stuffer for a group of girlfriends. But I have to tell you, Mako. This actually feels easier on my hand than the bristles did. Really? Yeah. You might have been pressing too hard. Maybe so I you have to be caref careful with okay. that. So we have to do But again, it's that. a learning curve with yes. all of these products. You just got to get them home, test them out for a little bit, and okay. really appreciate them. There is some residue with that one. There is some residue. Yeah. That's okay. that, 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 no bueno. No Good bueno. Two notes. Yeah. Let's move on to something else that is kind of cool. So yeah. this is the gua sha shaping tools. They're right mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Guys, these gua are sha. so cool. So these tools are made out of sandalwood. And the first thing I said was, does it smell? No. Like sandalwood. No. It doesn't. The no. answer to that is no. No. But it does give benefits in that, it, again, we're Let me all wipe about. This off. Listen, it's winter. You know that feeling when you wake up and all the colors drain from my face? That's uh -huh. how I feel when I wake up. It's all about blood flow. It's all about in the cold weather. These are intended to increase the blood flow. Again, with your lymphatic system, encourage that That's circulation, right. right? So, Mako, I'm just showing you. So, you, you can, can use, use this on your elbows. On your elbows, mm -hmm. on your face. I mean, this one is probably my least favorite because yeah. I actually like to see the product go mm -hmm. to work. But I guess if you're just sitting at your desk, it could be sort of relaxing. But I appreciate a product that I can start, start to see and feel immediately. Yes. So this one is, I guess, you know, just got to test it out. like that you feel like you're giving yourself a little mini treat. Yes. To me, this isn't as treat worthy as yeah. some of the other ones, but I definitely think it could be worth a try. I mean, I think a lot of people care about the results of a shape, like your neck and the shaping. Uh -huh. So if you want to give that our face, it's very important to us. So it may the have. The puffiness that you may yes, get in the morning. Exactly. You know what it feels like? That the may one matter of the, more to you. And then, one of the wooden tools that my mama uses for salad, mm, you know, to scoop things up. So scoopers. yeah, I'm like, all right, this is well, really going to do the trick. There's like the roller versions, which are, I think, a little bit. You yes, to feel the like, roller version might be the one. Yeah. All right, so, so we have one more exfoliation option. Okay. This is the Himalayan scrub mm. with leech fruit essential yeah it smells so good you can smell the it's aloe you can smell the almond Ooh, it's just smell smell yeah. in there it smells like almond oh my god mm. it smells so good so just to give you guys look a, at you right. let me show you guys what it looks like Ooh. I'm putting it onto my skin this is what I would use mm. in the shower do you like mm -hmm. the smell I do okay. I do and I just to give you guys Himalayan salt sweet almond oil yeah a little bit of grapeseed oil Ooh. so you're getting a lot of lychee fruit essential oil so, again another one that you use very sparingly don't yeah. feel like you have to rub 
rub it onto your skin. Mm -hmm. You, if you don't like a, like a very heavy scent, if you're not like me, this yeah. may not be the one for you. I personally want a scent that's gonna overwhelm me. Cause let me tell you what I do. I layer it. Mm -hmm. So once I get out the shower and I wash this off, I'm putting some more almond oil. So when I'm walking down the street, I just look like a, a just a big almond oil, almond just oil. walking down the street. <laughs> so that's well, the nice thing I about it. When I rub it off, look at that, Mako. I want to just show you how shiny it is yeah. already. I don't know if you can see that. It's so but good. Rubbing off that salt, I'm already beautiful, so Jackie. Shine on that. So skin. you guys, we have more beauty trends coming up right now as we continue to rub this off. Look at how we're shining. talking about tonal manicures earlier and I'm very into purple right now particularly this set this is the natural mystique set by Deborah Lipman and these are actually called gel lab pro formulas the polish is super smooth super shiny long lasting like a gel but they're not actually gel so don't worry you don't need that light you don't need to set it it comes off super easy with regular nail polish and I love to have my nails done but the one thing that I never really think about is hydrating my hands or my cuticles all the things that go into really making the most of your manicure so Deborah Lipman came by a little earlier and gave me a tutorial on a pre manicure prep so check it out I'm talking about pre-manicure prep today with celebrity manicurist Deborah Lipman. I've been trying these products and I have to tell you, I have no hand care routine. So for me, this is all brand new. I'm so excited. Well, that's so crazy. I you can't wait to go through nails. everything. Thank you so much. Um, okay, so our first product, which I think is amazing, is called the stripper. <laughs> Please tell me. <laughs> About, I know how you got the name, but please tell me about this product. You and know how I got it? Because this is, it takes it all off. And everyone needs that. Everyone needs a stripper at home. I totally get that. Okay, so for... So when you open this... This is the best top. Yeah. So basically, it's a pump. So I, I to love open that. It and pump it. Because you were saying before you that the, you're very clumsy. I'm very clumsy. So if I were to now go, oh, oops, I dropped it. Mm-hmm. Nothing comes out. Nothing comes Especially, out. And usually when you're at home doing your own nails, you're sitting on the couch... And it's always falling over. So this is amazing, and I love that. I'm also very clumsy, too. So I'm really, like, all of the packaging, all of the little pieces of the packaging are so important to me. Plus, this takes off your nails. It has lavender and aloe in it. Mm -hmm. So it removes your color really, really quickly. Um, you won't have any, you know, red on the side of your nails right. if you're afraid of wearing color, which I hope you're not because this is no, not I, the time I mean, to I'm, be afraid of color. I'm definitely not. And this is great to travel with because usually, like, Sometimes I'm in transit, like in a car doing my own nails because mm -hmm. I don't have time to get them done. Mm -hmm. And this is great. You won't spill it. You know, you sometimes spill it. you're on the subway and you even have yeah. to take it off. Why so you have no, so this is amazing. The next thing is the cuticle lab. So this is perfect because you were telling me that this is to push back the cuticles right. rather than like, you know, you go to get your nails done. Sometimes they like pull them all off and that's not right. Right. Correct. <laughs> okay. Correct. Good. That is not right. So this is actually a custom pusher that I created because when you're pushing your cuticles back, the cuticle mm -hmm. is all the way around the side. So anywhere that your skin meets the f your finger right. um, is uh, where you have cuticles. So you d aren't just pushing back this area, mm -hmm. which happens a lot in salons. So before and then you, if you do that, though, you put this one on Yeah, first. I would put... I'll just do it on my nails, okay. even though they have polish yeah. on. Um, this is also a great, like, gift set. Oh, it's such a great you gift know? set. And, you know, I've had my brand for 20 years, and whenever I do personal appearances, meet with meet with customers, they're always like, just tell me everything I need for my cuticles. Yeah, and then finally we put it in a set where we're like, finally, no okay, one instead of one at a time. It. I know. No one says, like, how to take care of your okay, cuticles. Okay, so cuti this is one of the reasons that I started the brand, because I've been a manicurist mm -hmm. since 19... Okay, yeah, we, we and, don't have um, to talk about it. No, we don't have to talk about it. <laughs> so I apply the cuticle remover, and I have a waterless manicure, which mm -hmm. is what I use when I work on sets with okay. uh, my clients. You take then the pusher, and you put it on the side, and you push back. So we're doing two things. We're taking yes. away the dead skin, and we're also pushing the cuticle back toward the knuckle. And this gives you more space 
for polishing. I'm probably going to get a lot well, of gunk up. All that and then all this, I was just going to say, don't want to draw attention to it, but, but literally I'm, I'm drawing attention I'm to proud. it. I'm proud. Look at all of that gunk that came off. That's all amazing. of that gunk came off. That is dead skin. This is like exfoliating your skin. That is all my dead cuticle because I didn't give myself a manicure before I came today. Um, Which and people don't talk about that. You have no, to it's, exfoliate. It's important to exfoliate. So if you exfoliate your cuticles and if you hydrate your cuticles, mm -hmm. which we'll get to next, you're not going to have things that need to be nipped. Right. So the cuticle is the end. I'm big on the cuticles. The cuticle is the end of our skin, which okay. is the largest organ on our body, on our fingers and on our toes. Right. So there's a so rim of, of cuticle that needs to be there because if you cut it off, so ladies for and gentlemen for mm -hmm. going into the salons, when they say cut or don't cut and you say don't cut and then you go on your phone and don't pay attention and before you know it, they've cut it all off. Yeah. What's happened is you've... Um, opened up your system to free radicals and all kinds of things coming in your system and no. getting and getting sick. I don't need that. So no, we don't need that. So you put on the cuticle remover, you push it back, and then, and then you're you going to and then you put on. so the, this oil has coconut oil. It smells Ooh. like vacation. I'm smell it, it yeah. smells like vacation because I want you to use oh it. Oh my god, it's exactly what it smells like. <laughs> it smells like vacation, right? And then with this, you just put a little dab at the base of your nail. Okay. And so this not is, all over your nail, just it, at you, the base. You can then spread it like okay. it just is uh, so it goes everywhere. Like, okay. I often, when I'm traveling, will put a little bit of cuticle oil on my hands before I travel Ooh. so that they're just hydrated when I get in the air. Cause That's a very good idea. Now, this you described to me as like an eye cream for your nails. This is an eye cream. Which this is, I love this that is like your super, super hydrating thing. You want to do this at night. You can do it um, every night. You can do it twice a day. Same with the cuticle oil. It feels so good. The, isn't it yummy? And you it's, put it's this called the cure. Just all over just your nails. Just all over the cuticle and massage it in. And Ooh. really, that also, the, just the action of massaging brings blood to the surface. And of, it just feels good. And it feels good. Much but it's great honest. for your nails. It helps yeah. your nails grow. It helps the it helps everything about it. This has raspberry stem cell ex extract. It has red algae. It has been a humongous award winner. And I love that. People I swear that by for it for getting set. rid of. This is like this is such an awesome gift set to, to give. Really, this is uh, uh, amazing. The next thing I have to talk about, which I was using earlier, and before I even used it, I said, "Oh my god!" Because this top. You just twist it, and I hate the flip tops because if you're like in the car or something and you're driving, and you're trying to put lotion on, you spill it everywhere. Yes. This is and amazing. then the flip top flips off and breaks eventually. And rich so. girl hand cream. Rich girl. So this Tell me is this is a this. this is really one so of good. my super serious passions about about my brand. Um, I grew up in Arizona, and we pretend that I pretend that I didn't know any better, but I did know better, and I baked in the sun. Yes. Um, every day with baby oil and iodine, and now that I work with uh, celebrities mm -hmm. and well I just always work with women and men um, as we're aging so much goes into there's SPF in our powder there's SPF in right. our moisturizer there's SPF in our foundation like and we have SPF everywhere about their hands. and they forget about their hands and then you go out and you get in the car or wherever you're going and your hands are just in the daylight which my mom always says your hands really show your age they really show your age so and this helps prevent that totally helps prevent that it takes away it deters like the the age spots from coming on mm -hmm. so the sooner you use it the better and it's something that you want to apply every day and if you wonder why your cuticles are dry it's just because they're thirsty so the products oh in the cuticle set and the rich girl are uh, the name really is so great cute reason. too, cute? and I just like I feel like this is perfect to throw in your bag, and you don't have to worry about it getting all over. For sure, and, and I fly with it all the time. Yes, it's TSA friendly. This smells really good. It, too. Smells, it smells like it should be a candle, doesn't it? Okay, the next what? Do, oh, what? Do, where do we have next? Marshmallow. This is that. Okay, mm. tell me about this. Okay, so this, this is cuticle is, scrub. This is our cuticle scrub. So okay. this is our hand and cuticle scrub, and it is. Let me well, open my this hands one. Hands are all. I know. Let me open this one. It, um, Ooh. take a sniff. Don't eat it. Wait. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, when you opened yeah. it, I was like, this actually looks like a marshmallow, and it actually smells like a marshmallow. <clears throat> so, yeah, go ahead. This is an exfoliant. This is an exfoliant. Your, so all, you can put it on over? your hand. Okay. So um, oh. it has biodegradable volcanic ash. It has. Uh, I love the way this feels. Um, so many incredible, uh, again, vegan ingredients. Um, and what you're going to see is after you massage it in. The volcanic ash is the scrub that you're feeling. Yes. That's the biodegradable volcanic ash. I feel and like then, you can do this over your whole body, honestly. Wow. Oh my gosh, it does look yeah. way better. Yeah. 
I feel completely. like I'm going to be a completely. baby by the end of this. Completely. You're not even going to be able to tell my age. So, my like, hands. my husband hates when I lift weights and get those. Yes, those things. Calluses. This is how this helps for your calluses. This is amazing. It's um, and then of course it, you massage it around your cuticle when you when you don't have polish on. I love this. Um, and it this smells is a great. Gift too, it honestly. smells great. Don't eat it. I know. I really <laughs> like. I feel like I could. <laughs> Okay, next. That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> that people are just going to be like that, that spooning are, it at yeah. home. Okay, don't so eat it. Have, people it's have said for that so many hands. times. That's why I enforce it. Please don't eat it, we even though you want to. We might have to change the name of it then, because marshmallow, it does sound really, really appetizing. <laughs> okay, next we have our nail polishes. Yeah. Which I have on. Yes, you do. Which are amazing. I got these done um, recently and I feel like they look exactly like gel, but they're not. They're just, it's just regular No, polish. so this is my healthy alternative. It's called Gel Lab Pro and mm -hmm. this particular set that we're doing, uh, showing on all of your nails in the, the ombre. I love in this the ombre. trend. Isn't that fun? This it's, is my favorite this is trend a that's great, happening. This is a great trend. So I will sidebar and say that um, I uh, did this on Lupita Nyong'o, one of my clients. Mm -hmm. um, a long time ago and we did like a different nail for a different each. color for each nail yes. and a different color for each toe yes and I it was it. like this whole thing it um, makes my any outfit I'm wearing pop anything and like pops. when I'm looking at my phone texting it just makes me happy that all my nails are a different color. doesn't nail polish <laughs> like just, just make excited. you happy <laughs> yeah nail polish just it really makes does. you happy it just really makes you happy. So these are, this is our fall set, Natural mm -hmm. Mystic. It's the Gel Lab Pro formula, which is a double patented uh, formula. So uh, everything that I try to do, like I'm not gonna put out a product unless I think I'm doing something that's better, uh, better for you, better for uh, mm -hmm. not available anywhere else. My, obviously it is key to me as a manicurist to have polish that lasts. Yes. That polish, polish that dries fast. And I've I work already on red had carpet. this on for a few days and there's no chips. And you also have no top coat on yet. I have I no correct? top coat. Yeah. So we're going to get to that. So look at this incredible shine. It dries quickly. It stays on your nails longer. It gives you that gel-like finish, that mm -hmm. 360 kind of plumping feel. But it comes off like polish because it is polish. And it's it looks just... like you spent a lot of money getting a manicure, but you really didn't. <laughs> Okay, so now let's do the top coat so we can see okay. the difference. So this is the Gel Lab Pro top okay. coat, and this is sort of where this my whole Gel Lab form formula came from. And it was also from a, like a lot of my clients that are you know more and more wanting natural things on their nails. Uh, it looks thick going on. Too. It's a little bit more viscous than yeah. your. Look at that. <gasps> I love that. It's, it's, um, I could honestly sit here all day. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Let's do it. So when you apply this, you yes. just pr press the brush, put the brush down. This also has um, a custom brush, mm -hmm. my polish, all of it. Um, and this we call our GPS brush because it's a goof-proof system. So when you're polishing, basically you're going to put one coat down the center, one coat down each side, and cap the tip. Okay. But I want you to see that when I put the polish, when I put the brush on your nail, I'm basically going to put it at the base in the center, um, thank God we exfoliated Right before. there, thank goodness. And then I'm going to spread it out. See how the brush spreads when I press down on it? Yeah. So then I pull it forward. I come over to the side just a little bit, and we're not going to squiggle. We're going to pull it forward, and just as we press down, those brushes are going to go to the side, those bristles. And this is just the easiest way to polish your nails. So it's not like put it on and squiggle it everywhere. Right. And then you always want to cap the very tip of the nail. This will keep your polish on for several days oh, longer. Oh, wow. That's a <clears throat> trick I didn't know. It's very important because every time we touch our nails to any kind of, you know, fabric or our desk or paper, it starts to wear away at the tip. So if you put this with every, if you cap the tip with every coat that you're putting mm -hmm. on, you are good to go. And honestly, I think doing your nails at home is very therapeutic. It's very so therapeutic. I like it. It's very therapeutic. Put on a couple candles, your yeah. favorite music. Seinfeld. Your favorite TV <laughs> show. Thank you so much. I love my nails. We have so many more beauty trends coming, so stay with us.
Hey guys, it's Liliana Vasquez and I'm here today to show you one of my favorite makeup looks. That is a matte smoky eye and you're probably noticing that my eyes are not even right now. So what I've done is I've go ahead and, uh, went ahead and finished the look right here. Um, so one eye, this eye is completely done from brows to lashes to eyeshadow and then I've left this eye completely bare because I'm actually going to walk you through each of the steps to get a perfect matte smoky eye using three of my favorite products. Um, number Number one is this great brow crayon. This thing is so cool because it allows you to do three things in one. So not only can you define your brows, but you can also sculpt your brows and set your brows with this. So I'm going to show you how to use that in just a little bit. This is what the product looks like. Um, it's from Trustique and I absolutely love it. It's also such a great natural color match for my particular shade of brows, but they do an awesome job whether you have darker brows or lighter brows. Um, second essential is a fabulous palette to create your matte smoky eye. I love this one. This is called the Nude Dude Volume Number 2. And the reason I love this is because you get such a beautiful range of colors. So you've got everything from really light in their fearless and fabulous shades all the way to really dark in their fierce and fine shades. And this is a really nice mix of both mattes and um, metallics. And you do need a balance of those to create the perfect smoky eye. So I'm going to show you how to do that in just a little bit. And then last but not least, no smoky eye would be complete without the perfect mascara. I am obsessed with this one. This one has an amazing applicator. I also love the formula because sometimes with uh, mascara, you end up just getting lengthening or volume. This one gives you both. So I'm going to show you how to use that in a second. Okay, so let's get to work on my one unsmoky eye and make it a little smoky. So when I do my eye makeup, I always like to do my brow first. For me, brows shape and define and set the face, and it's easier to understand the position and placement of shadow if you've already done your brows. I can't work the other way. I know everybody's different when they do their makeup, but for me, brows are really, really important. Um, so the first thing that I like to do is actually do my brows. So this is the Trustique crayon. So I'm just going to put it up so I get a little extra there. And then I'm just going to go in and fill in where it is a little sparse. And the great thing about this is that it's super buildable. So there's no real way to mess up. Wherever you want dark, you're just going to repeat the strokes. But this is the kind of brow that is kind of better is messy. Some people like a really sculpted, defined brow. I like a little bit more of like a boy brow. So it's a little bushier. It's a little messier. I just think it looks more natural. And it's kind of a nice contrast to the drama and glam that you'd naturally get from a smoky eye. So I'm just going to fill in my brow and then make sure I bring it down to the end. I think that looks pretty good. They match, right? And then I'm just going to go in super light and just do some strokes up. Because what you're trying to do with this brow product is really recreate the look of your natural brow hairs. So the lighter strokes, the better. And then remember I said this is a three-in-one. So now that I've filled in my brow and defined it, I want to set the brow so that they don't move. And that's what I really love about this one. It has a little brow gel. So I'm just going to brush that right into my brows to help keep those hairs in place throughout the day. And I also like to go against the grain of the hair like this, just to get a little bit more height in the brow. Okay, so brows are done, super easy. I don't really mess around too much with them. I think kind of a little unmessy looks good. Uh, okay, now let's dive into our Nude Dude palette. Um, the easiest way to do a smoky eye is to kind of pick three shades. I like one for the lid, I like one for the crease, and then I like one just for the corner of the eye. So what I did earlier was I did Funny, which is right here. I did Funny all over the eye. Then in the crease, I did Feisty. And then in the outer corner, just to create more smoky definition, I did fine. So those are the three that I'm going to use today. Um, and I'm going to show you just how easy it is to do. So I'm going to take a fluffy makeup brush like this, dip it into my funny, dust off the excess, and then I'm just going to go in and brush that. And I like to do both a swipe motion and a dab motion. So that is my dabbing and that is my swiping. And that basically goes all over the lid. And definitely make sure that you are really smoking out those edges. I don't like to see a lot of lines with the smoky eye, which is why I like to use a fluffy brush with a little bit of product at a time. You can always make it darker. It's really hard to go from dark to light. So you just want to do a little bit at a time. This does take a little bit of patience and practice, but I promise after you do it a couple of times, you're going to be so good at this. And one of the reasons that I really love
love the nude dude palette is because these pigments have so much payoff meaning that I really only have to go into my color one or two times when I'm doing this application I don't have to keep adding more color because it's beautifully buildable and has a massive color payoff um, so I'm just gonna go in and do a little bit more just to even that out and then I'm just gonna buff out the edges by doing that windshield wiper motion back and forth back and forth make sure you get it all over the lid okay I think that looks pretty good to me, but I'm actually gonna do one more layer. Really fast. Again, this is me dabbing the product all over my eye and then going over the color so that it's nicely blended out. Okay, we're getting there. All right, step number two is the crease. This is super important because this crease is what creates definition in your eye and it really helps kind of give you the look of a bigger eye. So for the crease, I'm gonna go in and take a little bit of Feisty on a pointy brush and that's because you really wanna get into that crease underneath your brow bone and the only way to do that without getting color all over your eyelid is to do it with a pointy round brush like this. So I'm gonna dive off the excess and then crease is easy. You just literally go windshield wiper motion back and forth and back and forth. And then in the corner, what I'm doing is just bringing it down and bringing it into the eye just a little bit. So I'm gonna go a little more. And the crease to me is the easiest part because you're really just following the natural line Honestly, guys, I'm doing this with my eyes closed right now because I can actually feel that brow bone as I'm dragging the color product across my crease. Um, okay, that looks good to me. And you're probably like, all right, wait, it's not exactly the same. That is because we now have to go into the dark color, which is right here. And on this, you just wanna tap a tiny, tiny bit. This is when you wanna go less is more. And then what you're gonna do is I'm gonna dab on in the shape of a triangle, just shaping out the corner of my, um, outer corner of my eye. And that's where you're really gonna bring in all of that drama. So just bring in a little bit at a time because if you put too much on the brush, you're gonna end up with like black eyes and you don't want that. You wanna be able to see all of the color work and detail work that you've done building up to the perfect smoky eye. I have to focus on this, y'all. I don't want it to get messed up. Okay, so you can kind of see they're starting to match each other a little bit better. I'm gonna go in and deepen it just a little bit right along the eye line. And then I always go back to a really fluffy clean brush like this to again, make sure that everything is blended. And having a clean brush on standby is essential to a smoky eye. Uh, because what a smoky eye really is all about is perfectly blended shades all working together without any sparse or kind of like open lines. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take that original brush that went into the funny. I'm gonna drag this out because I have a little bit of a bald spot in the shadow and I don't want that. Um, go back into that crease, blend it all out. They're starting to match. And then I don't wanna forget one crucial step. Um, you wanna take a little tiny brush like this um, and I actually mix the two darkest colors. So I'm gonna go into funny and fine. And then what I'm gonna do is go underneath the eye. And that's where you can also add a lot of smoke and drama. Sometimes people forget to do this and they're wondering why their smoky eye doesn't have all the impact. And it's because you always wanna make sure that you're adding a little bit of that shadow right along that bottom lash line to make sure that that smoke is balanced from top to bottom and you can see that really does make a difference and again you don't have to be perfect or precise you can always go back with concealer and clean up but that starts to really create balance on the eye and then the way you get real impact with the smoky eye is of course all about mascara so whether you're putting on false lashes or you're just coating your natural lashes, this Mad Lash Black Mascara is blacker than black, and that's what I love with a smoky eye. A smoky eye is all about pigment, it's about color, it's about deepness, and a black mascara just really complements that so well. Um, so you just wanna go in and make sure that you're going right from the root. I start at the root first, and then I kind of build up. So root, and then you can look up or down, whichever's easier for you, and then I brush it through the lashes, making sure to coat every single lash. And don't forget, you guys, when you're doing a smoky eye and you're adding drama both under and in that corner, it is really, really important that you coat the lower lashes as well. Sometimes people forget and the look feels a little bit incomplete or unbalanced. So what you wanna do is just get a tiny bit of mascara so you can kind of wipe off the excess on the edge of your mascara because you just want the tiniest amount of mascara and then make sure that you are looking up 
and coating those little baby lashes on the bottom so that you get balance on both eyes. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And then again, with the smoky eye, you can really add a little bit of highlight too. That's one thing that I like about this palette is that you've got your really beautiful buildable dark shades, but then you can always take your tiny detail brush, go into your lighter shades. This is like my highlights. So I like to add a little bit of Faithful and Fabulous. And just to kind of balance the darkness on the outer corner, I actually like to bring in a little bit of highlight into that inner corner right there, so you can kind of see. Um, bring that all the way in to the eye. You wanna go about a quarter of the way and then bring it down. And just adding it a little lightness just kind of makes the whole thing fun. Take that clean brush. Remember, you always wanna have a clean brush on standby. Blend that out so that you're really getting more variance in the color and the transition is seamless because that's what artists do so well. When you see beautiful work on Instagram or you see beautiful work online for these makeup artists, what looks so good about the smoky eye is that everything is completely seamless and it blends as if they used one magical color when we all know that they use like eight or 10. So anyway, grab these while you can. Don't forget brows, Trustique. This is going to be your best friend if you want to do it quickly. The Nude Dude Palette is going to give you so much versatility when you're creating beauty looks at home, whether it's a simple smoky eye or something really overly dramatic or even just one shade on your eye. And then, of course, Black Mascara. This one is from Mad Lash is going to be your best friend to really finish off the look and make sure that you have that gorgeous smoky eye look. So grab these. These are some of my favorites, and I hope you're unafraid to try a fun smoky eye next time you have a girls' night out or a special occasion. But don't go anywhere because we still have more amazing beauty looks and fun finds for you to try. Excellent. Hey, everybody. Yeah. Yes, we love that, Liliana. Mm. Okay, now the transition we know, Mako, into fall and winter is when our skin starts to suffer. It gets super dry. Lack that moisture. So I feel like no amount of moisture is mm -hmm. ever enough for my skin in winter. So I really am excited to try a bunch of these moisturizers out for us. Absolutely. Serums, yeah. You, you name it. When the heater goes out in my house, my skin immediately feels it. So let's test out some yeah. hydrating products to see what we think. And by the way, you guys, I think it's important to know what your skin type is. Mine is dry. Yours is. Yes. I'm combo. Your and combo. So it's very tough for us combo girls to find as Something. We get into the winter because yeah. you still do get that shiny T zone. Right. And I have to be on air and be on set, so you can't really shine, but you want to lock in the moisture. The, exactly. This one is really good. You don't want like the really dry forehead. You know? So this is the Peter Thomas Water Drench Moisturizer. Yes. It has that buzzword that everybody's talking about, hyaluronic base. What mm -hmm. does that do, McCoy and Jackie? Well, that locks in hydration for up to 72 hours. Hyaluronic acid improves hydration by retaining up to one thousand times their weight and water from moisture in the air. So Jackie, yeah. I see you rubbing it on. I'm gonna well, rub it on. Tell me what that, you Nicole. thought. I'm gonna hold it like, up to talk the camera. about cloud. How does this, it feel? It really feels so yeah. rich, but not super heavy. Like the word mm -hmm. cloud is the perfect word to describe it. This I will agree. give you moisture, by the way, for 72 hours. And it's not like it's Ooh. not like um it doesn't Ooh. feel like Ooh. that feels like jelly. Like it doesn't have it that doesn't, jelly. It doesn't feel. feel like a Vaseline type yeah. of thing. But what I will say for $72, it costs a pretty penny. It it's a pretty $72. penny. $72, that's but a lot of money. I would do like one jar of this yeah. to last me through the Sparingly. winter. I would put it on at night, although yeah. Paige even said she uses it in the mornings before her makeup and stuff. Oh, so, that's a good point. You know, it's up to your skin type, but this feels super luxe, super creamy. It feels so good. It feels like an oil, not, not but it has like a, a, a film. Exactly. Yeah. It feels very, very hydrating. And just like very you said, hydrating. I would use it morning and night. And the texture is not super heavy, you guys. It's not like a salve or anything yeah. that's heavy like that. But I would imagine if you you do have oily skin and you put on makeup, it might break apart the makeup, right? right? So be really careful with this. And at that $72 price point, use it sparingly, sparingly exactly. okay? Exactly. And it's because that concentrated hyaluronic. So yeah. for that 30% hyaluronic, mm. that's really going to, that's good. why it's it's the price point that it is. Because yeah. you're getting that concentrated molecular structure that's in that to give One, you that deep hydration. 100%. So, what are you trying out okay, now? Okay, now is, I moved on to this oil, you guys, because an oil can really lock in moisture. But I'm very wary of oils mm -hmm. because... I feel like I'm always wary of greasiness. So this okay. is the Sunday Riley Sleeping Night Oil. Now this has really a cult following. It does. I'm gonna show you what's Look, interesting. This is about a cool magic this. trick. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Oh, it starts off like blue. I'm a little like, afraid what's of that. That about. Ooh. But then you rub it in, okay. and it does dissolve. The color does dissolve. And we have.
have a fan of this in our uh, glam room. Ashley loves this because she said it does not leave it on her pillow. That's what I was going to ask. If you use a white pillowcase, will mm -hmm. that residue get she on? She feels it really absorbs okay. really quick. To me, I'm feeling it absorb on my skin already. Very nice. It does. Um, the thing about plumping up your face is, you know, you fill it in with that moisture. It plumps your face. Mm -hmm. This does have a retinoid in it. It has that retinol oil. So it, you, that is something to be aware of if you go in the sun a lot or if you're trying, you know, to get pregnant or pregnancy. Those are, you, you know, you do want to be aware. Those are good oils to have. They improve the appearance of yeah. those fine lines. I really like that because when you wake up in the morning, then you feel like your skin looks really good. Mm -hmm. Now, face masks are part of my nightly routine, so yeah. I'm really dying to find out about this a La Roche-Posay mm. Hydra Face Intense face mask. Okay, so what it does, it hydrates, it smooths, it improves that luminosity, and it helps to restore the comfort. So as you can see, it has that blue film, which sometimes I don't like because it's really hard to rub it in. You know, especially if you have a darker pigment, it's really difficult to get in a little bit. But once you sort of rub it in, it contains that hyaluronic acid, what we were talking about earlier, mm -hmm. the spring water to really replenish the skin. So that's nice as well. And I think this one feels a lot lighter and more gel-like mm -hmm. than our richer Peter Thomas Roth. I agree. You know? I agree. It does yeah. definitely feel gel like. And one more. Ooh, like I every day. Put all these oils. I could barely open up the last one. Yes. Now, something else that we need is for our hair. This mm. really smells amazing. This is the hair mask by Oribe. Really, yeah. really love it. Jackie, I'm going to try How this on. How good is that smell? So I'm going to is... try this on. This is what it looks like, you guys. It's so good. I love it. Guys, we have even more beauty trends as I massage my hair. So yes. make sure you check it out. Don't move.